ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Santa's Workshop. Today, we're going to be trying out a new product that I didn't even know existed until about six months ago. It's called a hood strut kit. So you can get rid of the prop rod for your hood and actually put on the gas struts on, on the car. This is for a 98 Mustang and it's uh, made by MMD. The instructions, unfortunately, are not very clear, but after looking at pictures on the website, I saw exactly how they were supposed to be put on. Um, I'm not going to lie, the first couple of uh, packages I got, they would not work. But the company I got these from, American Muscle, stepped up and did me right big time. Um, they actually took the product out of the box tried it out and made sure everything was going to fit right and sent it to me. Uh, the first time I sent the first one back, they had the next one to me the next day. As soon as I showed that I was shipping it back, they shipped it out. Second one, just as quick. Third one took a little more time because they took the time to make sure it was right. So we're going to put this on and you can watch me and see how it works and hopefully get one for your car. All right, the tools we'll be needing for this is an eight millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket. And I am going to put these instructions away since we're not going to need them. On the strut kit itself, you've got DU, which means driver upper. And then on the lower piece, you got DL, which means driver lower. You want to come back here take out this bolt right here and put in your lower piece love using the power tools but sometimes you just can't quite get them where you need them to go. All right on your outermost nut you need to take it completely off. I'll lay it right there where we use it. This one here just loose off about halfway. This is made to slip over. You got a slot there. All right, like so. do this other side. Works much better if you get it going in the right direction.
If you hear a lot of banging and bumping in the background, it's just the Oklahoma wind. Alrighty, and again, we take this top one all the way off. And this one about halfway. This one is marked PU, which is passenger upper, and PL, which is passenger lower. And back together. And everything seems solid. All right, next thing we need to do is shut the hood down and make sure our alignment is still good. And everything looks pretty spot on. Now we install the struts. Good rubber hammer comes in handy on this one. The first batches I got wouldn't even start to go on. Spring clip on these. I want to try taking these out, seeing if it makes it a little bit easier. I think it did. Question is, how is it going to be put back in? Sometimes a flashlight comes in real handy.
there's that. Now, we take the perk rod off and see if it's gonna hold. And there you have it. New strut rods on the hood, no more prop rod. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I had a subscriber request that I do a little more info on the pictures that I had in my first video. So we'll start with the exhaust system today. This is the inside of the muffler that I built. This is using a C purling from the shop that uh, we're in. The inside tubes are from a trampoline that got destroyed by a storm. I don't throw nothing away. I, I like to have stuff and do it on the cheap. Cost so far, zero. This is the inside of the muffler after I've got it uh, tacked in and welded up. And the next scene will be the mufflers after they are painted. I painted them with a, a charcoal grill paint so the heat would not uh, destroy the paint. And then the last picture I've got is the uh, the exhaust system put together. I actually cut open the cat catalytic converters, cleaned them out, and they are totally and completely empty. It gives a nice resonance chamber for the for the sound. And the exhaust tips I got through Wish, and they are a either a three or a three and a half inch. I cannot remember. And there you have it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Please help me grow this channel. I appreciate the support you've given me so far, and I promise the videos will get better and better as they go. You have you a wonderful day, and we will see you next time.